Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to show you how to set the Torque 457Z Astro Timer. This is a great little timer for landscape lighting or for a lamp module around your house if you need to set up a lamp or your landscape lighting to work automatically. Also good if you have your transformer in a garage where it is not accessible to the sun where you would normally use a photo cell. This will act just like a photo cell and react to the sunrise sunset times. And that's what makes it an astronomic timer. So today we're going to walk through the setup on this. When you take it out of the box, the first thing you're want to go, going to want to do is plug it in for probably, oh, 10 to 12 hours to let the backup battery timer fully charge. And then you may actually see that the dial, when you get it, is blank. Once you charge it up, it'll start flashing for you. Now, once it's charged up, the great thing about this timer is that it has a battery backup that will hold the time for up to 30 days. Uh, if you lose power, that's fantastic. You won't have to go back out and reset it once power is reestablished. Uh, just simply uh, make sure everything is plugged in and, and away you go. Uh, but today we're going to show you how to set this up from the beginning. Now you may be taking this out of a transformer or the time got messed up and you need to reset it. It's very simple to do. Either take a pin or maybe the end of a mechanical pencil, whatever works well. And you're going to want to come right into this little soft port right here. It's a little rubber port. And what you're going to do is you're going to push that in until the screen goes blank. Hold it for about three seconds, pull it out, and you're gonna see the time flashing and everything is reset. Um, now I'm gonna use this pen here so I don't get my fat fingers in the way so you all can see what we're doing. Uh, but to go ahead and start setting this, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna hit the enter button and that's going to stop it from flashing. Now the timer is ready to program. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set the day, date, and time. So the way we're gonna do that, we're gonna to go to the mode dial right here, and we're gonna press that twice. Now you notice as I press that, uh, you'll see these different modes, they're gonna change. And we're going to the one right now called C-A-L-D. That is the one we're going to set the time in. So in order to be, enter into that mode to set, we need to hit the enter button right here. And you can see now we have the year flashing. So for our year right now, I'm at 2012, or excuse me, 2020. And once we hit that, we don't want to hit the enter button again because that'll take us back out to the main. Uh, we want to hit the set button. We want to accept the programming. So we're going to hit the set button. Um, we're going to set our months. So you've got these up and down arrows that literally is just to go through and just adjust the months and the days. I'm in February now, so I'm going to hit the set button. And it is the 8th, so I'm going to cycle up to the 8th. And I'm also going to verify that it is on the correct day. If you see that uh, you're entering a date and you know it's a Saturday, uh, but it's showing a Friday, you may want to check your year because you probably have the cycle off. Something is not right. So just check the, the date and the day, and that will verify that you're at the right place. Let's go ahead and set the, set the set button there. Okay, so now we're going to be looking at the time. So as you're looking at this right here, this is a very important piece I want to show you. So over here, you're going to see an AM... Um, a readout on the screen. Many, many programming errors happen because when we're setting the time, we're not uh, noticing the AM and the PM. Be very careful that you're on the right time of day for when you're setting this. So for me right now, um, it is currently 1.11 in the afternoon. So as I cycle back through this up and down, you're gonna see it changes to PM now. So I'm gonna go back to one, that's my hour. I'm gonna hit set and then I'm gonna cycle up to 11, okay? Uh, the minutes or the seconds doesn't really matter. doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit set. And then once you see the year flashing again, you know you've gone through all the steps. Just hit the enter button again. That's gonna take you back out to the main screen. Now, at this point, let's go ahead and program uh, for how we want this timer to operate. Now you can set this to come on at a particular time. You can set it to come on at sunset and go off at midnight or go off at 11, whatever you want. Uh, most of the time, uh, our clients are wanting this to come on at sunset and go off in the morning at sun up. And so we're looking at the sunrise and sunset tables. So in order to get to that, um, get to that mode, we need to go to hit the mode button and we're gonna go to the program mode. It's gonna be the first one you're going to come to. Now, what's great about this torque timer is it automatically has sunrise and sunset set up as the first, um, first options. So it makes it very easy to cycle through. So now that we have the program flashing, what we wanna do is we wanna hit enter to enter into that mode. And you're gonna see right down here, you're gonna see program one and it says right next to it, on. Program one on, that is our first setting. So we wanna hit yes. We wanna accept that as a first setting. 
And you're gonna notice now, up at the top of the screen, all seven days are going to flash. With a torque timer, you can set specific days for this to come on and off, but for our purposes with lighting, we want it on all seven days of the week, so we're just gonna go ahead and allow that to flash and hit set to accept the programming. First screen you come to, it says time. This is if you want to enter a physical on time or off time. Uh, for us, we're gonna go ahead and we're just going to up and down, use these up and down arrows until we see sunset. We want this to come on at sunset. So N N S N S T is our sunset start time. And so we're gonna go ahead and hit set. Okay, now you notice when I did that, number one is still flashing, but now it's showing a small off next to it. So it's still on program one. And within program one, you'll have an on time and an off time. So it's not program one set on, program two set off, it's always program one. So program one off time, now what we wanna do is we wanna hit yes. And all seven days of the week again, yes. And it's gonna come up with time again. Now instead of going down to sunset, we're gonna go up to sun up. This is when we want it to turn off. So yes, we want to turn off at sun up, so let's hit set to accept that. And now when you see a number two flashing, we've already set our program for on off. So we can just hit the enter button and we can cycle out of that. So now that we have our day, date, and time in our sunrise and sunset program set, we still need to tell the timer where we are at in the United States so that it can determine the sunrise and sunset times. So in the manual instruction sheets that you get with Torque, you're gonna see this little map inside and it's broken up into three zones. You have a northern zone, a central zone, and a southern zone. Uh, they're designated by NUSA, CUSA, and SUSA. Now, depending on what state you live in, just go ahead and correspond to that zone to your state. We'll get a little bit more particular here in a minute. So for us, what we're going to do is we're going to hit the mode button again, and it's gonna take us past program, past the time, and it's gonna take you to what's called zone. Those are those three zones that we just looked at. Now, if you live outside the United States and Hawaii, there's a zone for that as well. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit enter to enter into that. And you can see NUSA is what it pops up with. Well, I'm in Indiana and that's in CUSA. So I'm gonna cycle down. Oh, sorry, that's Hawaii. I'm gonna cycle up to CUSA. If you're in the South, just cycle one more and there you are. But for me, I'm in CUSA. Now this is the only option you have in the zone. So you don't need to hit the set, just simply hit the enter button and that'll take you right back out. So you ask the question, well, how does the torque timer know exactly what the offset time is? Because within that zone, the on off times or the sunrise sunset times could vary by up to 45 minutes to an hour. Well, that's a great function of this torque timer is it allows us to put in those offset times. So to get to that, we're gonna hit this mode button again and we're gonna cycle past zone. And the next one after zone is you're gonna see sun and it's gonna say plus or minus. So this is our sunrise sunset time. Okay, so this is where we're gonna set our offsets. So to get into that again, we hit the enter button and that takes us in. So right now you see SNUP. So remember when we set our programming off time, that was, we wanted that to turn off at sunrise. Well, according to the timer, uh, it's saying that my off time is 7.09 a.m. But if I look at my phone, you can use any type of an app like a, uh, I don't know, AccuWeather app or whatever's gonna have a sunrise sunset table for your time. Just refer to that. Uh, for me, AccuWeather is telling me that my time uh, for sunrise is 7.45 a.m. Well, that's quite a bit off. So let's go ahead and set our sunrise time. Uh, the way we do that is you have, again, you have these positive and minus buttons, up, down arrows, and I need to go up to 745. So I'm just gonna push and hold until I get to 745. Whoa, four, five, okay, we're good. So when I get there, I'm gonna hit set to accept that. And that's gonna automatically pull up SNST or the sunset or the on time. So whenever your sunset is, this says 540, mine is actually 612, so again, I'm running a little bit behind, so I'm gonna go up to 612 p.m. Just push and hold that up button. Yours may be the other direction. And there I am at 612 p.m. And now I just hit the set button. Okay, and it's all set. And it takes you back to sun up again just to verify that you've gone all the way through the cycle. To get out of that, just simply hit the enter button again. And that's gonna take you to this mode called AUC. So that is going to be automatic mode. 
Um, from that, you are going to just simply plug the timer in. It's got a couple different ports here for plugs. So uh, for us, we just plug this right into a transformer. Uh, so this is going to give you everything you need to essentially set your lighting up. It is completely com programmed now. It's completely finished. Your lights will come on at dusk and they will turn off at dawn. Very simple, just like a photo cell. And the beautiful thing about this timer is it actually adjusts for daylight savings time too. Isn't that great? I uh, really don't ever have to touch this. With the battery backup time, it literally will operate like a photo cell. So this is a great little timer. Anyway, guys, I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Uh, and again, stay tuned for more videos. Have a great day.